this is Sandy from wormsandstuff.com and today I want to show you how to check and see if your worm population is healthy. So I'm going to go into my flow through bin that I make and I have complete directions for making it yourself on my Facebook page, Worms and Stuff. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of dig down around in there and take a nice little handful of worms. So this is worms and bedding and what you're going to do is you're going to look to see that you have worms of different ages. This here is an adult worm, and you can tell in it's adult worm because right here on that thicker area, that's called the clitellum, and that shows that it is an adult that's capable of breeding. When you dig around further, you should find young worms. Oh, here's some over here. These right here are very young worms. You can see that they're eating well because you can see the darker area inside. When red wigglers are born they're actually kind of clear with just a little reddish tinge and then after a few hours they start to get their red. So this worm here is probably only maybe a week old. And these are the little gems that you really want to see. This here is a worm cocoon. Adult worms under ideal conditions can um, can produce a worm cocoon almost every day. And inside that worm cocoon could be between two and ten baby worms. For red wigglers, the average is said to be 2.7, so about three worms in there. When you see these cocoons, do not, do not get rid of them. Put them back in your worm bin so that you will have more juvenile worms. So these are my worms. I see adults. I see young ones. I feel like I have a a good healthy population going on. And that's what I do every once in a while to check my worms. You don't want to do it too often because they don't want to be disturbed all the time, but make sure you have juveniles, make sure you have adults, and make sure that you have cocoons. Thanks, this is Sandy from Worms and Stuff.